Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we learn about pop-up parameters and we'll see how to use this the concept of parameters effectively by building a scenario. So the requirement is like this. I will have two date options in my parameter, current date and custom date. So whenever I select the current date, it will by default show me the data for today's date. Okay. But when I'm selecting a custom date, I will get a date pop up here so that I can select a date range here. Based on the data selected, data will automatically show up here. Let's say I will select 6th to 10th here. It is displaying data for 6th to 10th here. If I select whatever the date range I choose here, it will display data for that range. Here. Okay. Now let us try to build this. I'm going to my Tableau here. And the first option is to create a parameter with two options, current date and custom date. I'm creating that select date. And here I'm creating this of integer type with list and one and two. So one would be my current date. And second, I'm displaying it as custom date. Okay, so click. Okay, now let me show this parameter here. Now our requirement is wherever I select current date, it should display data for today's date, whatever is there in the database. So I'm creating a calculation for that. And uh, before I do that, let us take order date here so that it will be easy for us to validate. So I'm converting that into as exact date and I'm converting that into discrete here. And then I'm creating a calculated field here and I'm writing it as P underscore current date because we are writing it for current date. Now current date means today's date we want. So we can use today as the function to refer to today's date and get today's date in the tableau. And now we want this to match with our database and get that value. So simple calculation order date is equal to our order date is equal to today simple okay click on apply and okay now let us see if it is working so if this works it should display data for today's date i'm taking this to filter shelf and taking only true values you see it is bringing only today's date into the value here 2021 okay so one calculation is ready now, when I select the custom date, it should allow me or it should get me two dates here. So if you observe here, from my start date to end date. So two dates I have and based on that, the data should display here. So basically it's like a date range. So let us write a calculation for that. And before we write that, we need to create two parameters so that user can select two dates. So I'm calling it as my start date and I'm converting that into date type here. And I'm using the range here. And because we are using order date, I'm setting values from my order date so that it can automatically update based on the values that are up available in our order date field. So you see, we have data from 2018 to 2021. Okay, automatically it got adjusted. I'm clicking on okay. And now I'm duplicating this. And I'm calling this as our end date. Okay, and I'm renaming this as uh, end date. Okay, so our two parameters are now ready. I'm clicking on this show parameter and for our end date also show parameter. Now I'm making this as type in shelf here. For this also type in shelf. My based on date I selected data will be populated. Now let us write a calculation for our date range here, okay? So I'm writing P underscore custom date. And here, my order date should be greater than or equal to start date. So that is the first date that user will be selected or will be selecting. And my order date should be less than or equal to end date because we want our dates to fall in this range. Okay, agreed? So I'm clicking on apply and okay. So our two dates are now ready. Now we need to set a calculation for this. So before we do that, let us see if this is working. So 
So to do that, I'm taking a custom date into filter shelf and I'm taking only true values. Now this is working. So if I change it to nine, it is bringing in eight and nine. So our calculation is working fine. Now let us write a calculation for our parameter here, for this parameter select date. Okay, so before we do that, let us create our basic view so that, you know, we can uh, automatically, not automatically, we can test the data whenever we have all the parameters in place. So I'm just converting this into discrete. So I'm taking my customer name and I want my order ID for this customer name. And uh, now I'm taking my sales and the profit as well. Okay, so we got all of that ready. So I'll, I'll just create a side-by-side -side bar chart here. Okay, so now it's ready. Now let us write a calculation here. So I'm creating another calculation here. P underscore selected date here. Now, if select date is equal to one, then it should be current date. So I'm selecting that. Else if, else if my select date is equal to two, then it will be P underscore or custom date, okay? And I am ending it, simple. So you can also directly write else part and take the custom date, both will work same. I'm just writing it this way. So Tableau is very you know, friendly here to take the both uh, in the four, both the formats. Click on apply and okay. Now, if I take this into filter shelf, let us see if this is working. I'll take only true values here in both the cases. Now, when it is current date, it is displaying data for today's date working. Perfect. So when I go to custom date based on the dates that we select, it should display data. Now, when it is between six to nine, six, seven, eight, nine. So it is working here. Okay. Now let us build our dashboard here. So the primary part of our uh, work is completed. Now we want to work on showing the pop-up. So what I'm doing is I am dropping, okay, so I'm converting this into tile and dropping it here. So now what I'm doing is I'm taking a container here, horizontal container and dropping it on top. Now I am moving my select date inside this. Okay, now what I'm doing is I'm taking another horizontal container and dropping it inside my container. You see the highlighted area. So whenever you get that, you can drop it that point. Okay, so, okay. I'm dropping it now. Okay, so now our container is inside this. So now I'm dropping my select date, sorry, start date inside the horizontal container that we have just created just now. Move it, now you see, same way I'm moving our end date also next to our start date here. So whenever you see only that part becoming highlighted, you can drop it here, okay? So let us, yeah, now we have that, okay? So let us adjust the height here. I'm selecting current date. Now let us write, or let us create a blank sheet here. Okay, and I'm simply creating one dummy sheet so that this becomes active uh, whenever we are selecting custom date option here. Okay, so I'm just turning everything into white here so that this is not visible. And I am removing my grid lines as well. So I'm going to borders here. And from this lines, I'm removing everything, both in rows and columns. And I want to remove my headers also. Now this is a plain sheet. Now let us write a simple calculation for this. I'm calling this as show or show hide button. And this should become true only when 
my select date is equal to two. Okay, and I'm clicking on apply. Okay, so I'll take this and move it onto filter shelf. I'm selecting this apply. Okay, okay. So now I am going to dashboard. And now what I'm doing is I'm dropping this blank sheet that I have created in between these two, in between my select and my start date. Okay, taking this, dragging and dropping and dropping in between these two. Let us hide. Now when I select current date, it is like this. When I select custom date, it is becoming black. Okay, current date, it is like this. So let me move it right in this side. Custom date, it is moving here. So current date here. So let us move little this side and this also little this. Yeah. So little formatting you need to do once you place your sheet correctly. Current date, custom date. Current data and custom data. So we might need to set, we might need to adjust here a little bit. This is not, the width is not fit here. Let me do that. So I will just. I'll fix the width for this. Maybe after decreasing a little bit here. Fixing it. Same for this also, I'm fixing it. Yeah, so now when I say custom date, it is moving this side. Current date, perfect. Now, let us format our remaining things. I'm making it entire view here. And now what I'm doing is I'm making this floating and dropping a blank sheet on top of this here so that this is not visible because the position is fit, fixed here. It will not disturb. Okay. And I'm going to lay out here and background. I'm making it white. Okay. Now you see when I select current date, it is just by default, it is displaying the maximum date that is available. And when I'm selecting custom date, parameters are popping up. Okay, and I'm showing, allowing user to select the date, whatever he needs. Seven to nine, it is working, or seven to eight, it is working. Okay, so very interesting option to use in Tableau. You can have, you know, many drop downs here, and you can use it in the same way. Hope you like it, hope you like the concept. That's it from my side in this video. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye-bye.